Good day, future Martis, or should I say future occupational therapist. My name is Jerome Fredericks, and I am one of the lecturers in occupational therapy. So welcome to the Department of Occupational Therapy. These are the lecturers who can't wait to work with you. As you can see, I am the only male in our department. And one person asked me, what is the benefits of being the only male in your department? And my answer was, the one benefit of being the only male in the OT department is that I have all the toilet facilities just for myself. So we need more males in our profession. So welcome. In this presentation, I will cover the following. What is occupational therapy? What do you need to study occupational therapy? And the last bullet is, do you want to be a Marty occupational therapist? If you look at the first question, what is occupational therapy? Then occupational therapy is a client-centered health profession concerned with promoting health and well-being through occupation. The primary goal of occupational therapy is to enable people to participate in activities of everyday life. Part of what is occupational therapy is that Occupational therapists achieve this outcome by working with people and communities to enhance their ability to engage in the occupations they want to, need to, or are expected to do, or by modifying the occupation or the environment to better support their occupational engagement. So, what do you need to study occupational therapy? You need your National Senior Certificate. You need to have an aggregate of at least 50%, level 4, and this exclude life orientation. You should have at least 40%, level 3, for mathematics, at least 50%, level 4, for life science and the last bullet in physical science as a subject we strongly recommend it. Part of what do you need to study occupational therapy is that the account of the outstanding merit of most applicants meeting the minimum admission requirements is by no means a guarantee for successful selection. What do you need to study occupational therapy continue? Is that every year 50 students are being selected. If you look at the B1, what this means is it are the current learners who are now in grade 12 and applicants who have completed school. So for those Individuals are the plus minus 37 places. If you look at criteria B2, then it is your registered students. And the B3 are applicants with tertiary qualifications and work experience. Then at the last bullet is B2 and B3 combined, that makes 50%. Combined. So when we have to choose our students, and this is the criteria which we will use, is that we consult the selection guidelines for detail. Selection factor equals academic performance plus situational judgment test. The first six applicants with high social economic disadvantages will be selected. The next bullet is that 17 candidates 
with the highest SF regardless of other characteristics. The next bullet is 27 black colored Indian Asian students. And the last bullet is provisional office and final office. So this is the basis what we use to choosing our students. Part of choosing our students, if you look at the B2 criteria, these are your registered students. We look at academic merits and they also need to provide us with a motivational letter. If you look at B3 criteria, it are students who have had the tertiary qualifications already and who have work experience and they need to provide us with their academic merit and then also a motivational letter and then we will do an interview, interview with them. So my top tips for any student who wants to apply for the course occupational therapy is that you should know what occupational therapists do. I encourage you to apply for occupational therapy at multiple universities. The next bullet, choose another degree that will also offer a career which you will enjoy and like. And my final top tip is apply again. So the next question I want to ask you is, do you want to be a Marty OT? And if you look at our photos there, then you can see that our students are happy. Our students will have knowledge. They will have skills and they will have the right attitude to take on any challenge regards of occupational therapy intervention. Do you want to be a Marty? You can be guaranteed that you will have excellent clinical skills. Our students are being placed at Stellenbosch, Tigerberg, Wooster, as well as in Uppington. We make use of multilingual teaching methods and if you want to be part of this occupational therapy family, don't hesitate to apply and to start your career as an occupational therapist at Stellenbosch University. From my side, Jerome Fredericks. I hope this information will assist and help you to make the right choice for your career. And occupational therapy is the best ever career I have chosen and I'm still happy being an occupational therapist. So I hope this information will assist you and help you so that you can make the right choice and choose occupational therapy to make change in people's lives. I thank you. Danke in Corsi.